So I really enjoy coming to this cave. It just, it just makes me think about a lot of things. It makes me think about uh, Jason Campbell's The Hero's Journey. And I used to look it up. I'm not going to go into it now. But I remember when I was mm, fresh out of college. I was bartending. I was uh, hanging out with all the cocktail waitresses and, and uh, the bartenders and the DJs and the bouncers. And man... The bills were minimal, and life was pretty awesome. I mean, I was having a blast. I'm not kidding. Woo, it was fun. But something was missing. Something was missing. I thought, you know, I might need to get a career. I was getting up to about 25 at that point. Like, maybe I should have a career, you know, benefits, retirement, because I knew, always knew I wanted to have kids one day and a family. So uh, I decided to go get me a career. And I did, thanks to some friends, and I started working at Walgreens. And, uh, I met this really cool manager named Richard Dean. And at, after some time, we became friends, and I went to his house one day, and he had just bought it, and it was an incredible home. I was like, man, this guy makes a lot of money, and I want a home like that. So I have a new why, a new inspiration for my life. I'm going to work as hard as I freaking can, and I'm going to get a home like that or better. And the cars and, and all that great stuff. White picket fence, family, you know, the family dream. So I did. I, I worked extremely hard, a lot of hours, a lot of hours, detrimental to my health, my stress, eventually to my family. And it was, it was literally killing me. It was literally killing me. And I, I thought, well, maybe I need to make more money. So I, I got into real estate. And me and this guy from Florida formed this group, I, I had forgot about it, called Chatteria, Chattanooga Real Estate Investment Association. And it, uh, <laughs> it was, we had a little over 300 members. I, mean, I did a ton of deals, made a, a good bit of money. You know, by, by this point, I guess I'm 30, and I, and I was a millionaire on paper. And then 2008 hit. Then I went from a millionaire to being in debt, basically a million dollars. And even though I was making all that money before I lost it all, uh, there was still something missing. There was, there was something missing. I was like, there's got to be more to life than this. So anyway, 2008 hit. And uh, by this time, I had kids. And oh, my God, was I worried. Was I scared. I mean, we, it, it was rough. If it wasn't for Michelle doing the coupon and she did and everything, I think we even went on food stamps at one point because it was a really bad situation. I had all these mortgages. I couldn't pay them because nobody else could pay. And, you know, landlords, most of them really aren't rich. So I had a lot of money, lost a lot of money. Still felt unfulfilled. And then, then I found my compass. Oh, and at that point, I decided, man, I'm never getting into real estate again. Heck no. Well, I learned all the skills you needed to, to, to uh, be a, a great investor. But the why I had behind it was wrong. Then when I found my compass, I started coming out of my cave. I started coming out and seeing reality. I, I came out and I, I actually found my why and my passion and, and the reason for being. And that compass now leads me to the right direction. Have you found your compass? Everybody's is different. Get out of that cave, right? There, there's a cool saying uh, or a poem by somebody. It's about Plato and this cave, and this guy goes in and... Um, Notices all these prisoners in there, and they, they had no idea there was anything outside of the cave. And, you know, the, all they had ever seen were the writings and drawings uh, that, the, that the Indians, I guess, put in the caves. And this explorer said, hey, I'm going to bring them out of the cave, right? So they, they came out of the cave to, ooh, bright, bright sunlight. This foggy out here and about busting my butt. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it was like blinding. Uh, you know, they freaked out. Eventually, they're like, wow, all these things we've seen drawings of are real. And they were awakened to what reality really was. 
And of course, their lives, you know, just went from there. Awaken. I'm not talking woke. I mean, awaken to your true purpose and your true passions. Find a compass that helps you guide you. I actually have one I normally wear on my wrist. It helps me remember. No. You can get in the cave. You may have been born in the cave, but can you come out? Reimagine life. Look at it differently. Because you were born of greatness and for greatness. Now let's go prove it.